So one of the things we've been working on is this idea of uh, objects. And one of the things we've also been kind of introduced to when it comes to programming is some different kinds of data types. Now we've learned about, say, integers, and then we also learn about booleans, but we also learn about this other thing called a char data type, and then a string data type. And those are a little weird if you, you're not too, uh, too savvy to them just yet. They are a little kind of complex, especially that, that char data type. Well, one thing to think about is char is any possible character, any possible character that we can represent on a screen. So look at your keyboard for just a second. Everything you see on there, a period, a uh, the carrot, an exclamation point, the pipe, uh, the number one, the capital G, the lowercase g, the tab, actually, the tab, I know, you know, that you haven't ever really seen that symbol before, but the tab can actually be, is a character that has to be displayed some way on my screen. So how does that all kind of work? Well, that's actually where the char data type comes into play. And one of the things that we have is we actually have a few methods using what's known as the character class. Just like we saw we had the math class, we have something known as the char, the character class. So say for example I said char, I don't know, uh, A, equaled the char representation of the letter A. Simple enough, nothing too terribly crazy. Well, what I could actually do here is I can take a look and see if this is a uh, lowercase or uppercase character. And the way I can do that is actually through something like character dot is lower case A. Now what this will do is, as you can kind of guess, is it's going to see if this is a lower case. If A, the variable, the variable A, not the text, the variable A is lower case, then we get a true. If not, we get a false. So what happens if I wrote something like uh, char degrees? You know, one of the things I, I was mentioning is we have symbols that aren't on our keyboard when we look at a char. So what about the degree symbol? Well, that's a interesting one. Here's that degree symbol. Well, is that a lowercase or an uppercase? Well, it's technically not lowercase, it's not a lowercase alphanumeric character, so guess what? It's false. But one of the other things we can say is uh, character is letter is letter or digit. And again, I replace it with my variable degrees, is this going to be true or false? Well, the degree symbol is not, is not a letter. So this is going to produce something called false. So one thing I want to take a look at is maybe that, that tab. That's actually pretty interesting. How do I, how do I represent a tab? Uh, you know, I was able to do the, the degree symbol rel relatively easy, but what about something like a char tab. Well, that's kind of weird. I, you know, how do I get that to display on my screen? And that's actually through what something we call escape characters. Now, how we take care of an escape character inside of Java is we actually use this slash, forward slash or backslash, I always kind of blank out on which one it is. I know, I'm a terrible person to teach this stuff. 
but it's that slash it's the one above your keyboard it is the one you're explicitly looking for and so now how do I display this well one of the things that Java uh, kind of gets is people are probably gonna want to display say the tab a lot and uh, how can we just immediately make that relatively easy for everyone and not have to remember all these magical codes that we'll talk about a little later well one of the things we can do is we can put in a lowercase t this is a little weird you know uh, I know I erased it and put it over there but I mentioned when we learned about uh, chars that they only had to be one character they could only be one character and suddenly I'm throwing out this guy and this is two things what huh I don't understand well what's going on is this is actually a special symbol in Java this actually is telling me oh this is an escape character and so now when I do something like a system dot out dot print ln name plus tab since I've named this tab I have the luxury of these two things kind of working together plus Adam what I'll get is actually name and instead of it being right instead of Adam being right here there's actually a giant tab in there there's an in, a giant non you know printing character that's being displayed so that Adam is further away so let's actually kind of take a look at that in action so again char equal char tab equals single character t notice e even it's kind of excited about this system dot out dot print ln name I don't even need that space I'm so used to putting it in there I don't even need it plus tab plus Adam I save this let's compile it up and let's take it for a ride notice how much space was in there one of the things I can do is I can actually add multiple tabs in here and as you can guess if I happen if I add multiple tabs I get extra distance now why is this pretty nice well if we take a look at say another system dot out dot print line let's say we made a bigger word instead of name we said occupation instructor Java C Java test now things are slightly off but let's get rid of that second tab over here and what you're gonna see is that tabbing over now I'm starting to allow myself to have proper alignment with my text which is really nice it gives me a little bit more uh, fluidity and just better readability with my code so we can take care of things like this